M0 FXP Yesu FTX1 has new firmware. Dated the 28th of May 2025, and they've updated the numbers to 1.00, 1.02, and 1.04. Now, I haven't got the radio, but if you look here, the Uberham K1 Mike Bravo Lima, thank you very much, has made a video. This was the previous version here, 1.01, 1.00, uh, for main, 1.01 for DSP, 1.03. And this is the USA model because we haven't got our sets in Europe yet. So of course I put the link for the this installation video in the description. Also on the yesu.com website, you'll see the firmware update information. And it literally just says, improved operational problems it's very general uh, but it takes it up to 100 102 and 104 okay and it's all done via your sd card and there are full instructions so when you go to yesu.com and select this you know the ftx one you'll see you've got updates here and files so if you go to updates there's a quick link there and so we want the firmware update here where is it the manual top one so we can read that. How to confirm a version. It says press and hold the function knob. Just here. Touch extension. Just here. Then software version. You go down. Select that. Downloading the firmware. Go to files here. And you'll see firmware where is it just here click that and you get the zip mine's gone up here to my <clears throat> down arrow which i would run google chrome double click and these are the three files that we're interested in and we've got the manual so you've got main 1.04 before i think it was 103 uh, any double check don't, don't take my word for that um, and then display 102 and then it says here bootloader 100 and then we've got the the manual i would say you'd need to put your sd card in the radio at least once sd card goes here go into the sd card settings so you you hold the function and then you go, you're looking for extension along the bottom of the screen and then SD card, then save and backup because that's going to put all the files that you need on your SD card. Then put it back into your PC with your adapter and you'll see these yellow files appear. And all you've got to do is drag the files you need underneath. Look, see that there? Main display. Underneath. You don't put it into these folders. It shows here. Copy them here in this location. Turn the transceiver off, put the card back in. And of course, I'm sort of learning in front of you. Definitely read the instructions. Watch the video that I've linked in where, where our friend is doing it there. Uh, it says it's important do not skip this section. And then so read all this. Um, and uh, right, to get it into firmware mode, it looks like you're holding down. Is it four buttons? QMB, VM. MW, V to V, M to V, MT keys, and then turn on. So you're holding three keys while you turn on. So there's that one there. Power on, QM, VM, and then MV. So it's, it looks like it's the two end keys and the QMB. Turn on, wow. Um, and then you get this appear on the screen when you're in firmware updo, update mode. Turn the function knob clockwise five clicks or more. The Yesu bootloader screen appears. So you still have to turn the knob. And then you get these windows here with your different firmwares listed. And it says, make sure the display shows the mark. So it looks like it automatically selects the ones that you need. You don't actually have to put them in yourself manually. Do not mark tick on the boxes. So just... If there's an update, your radio works it out and goes, OK, this box is the one we're going to update. You click update. As you can see, let's see if we have to factory reset at the end. 
When the update is complete, the power is automatically turned off. Unplug the DC power cord, then reconnect the DC power cord. The power automatically turned on. Proceed to step 12, hold the function, hold the extension. So this is the bit where you, I could have showed you earlier. Uh, how do you get into your SD card, SD card here, and then you're looking for SD card and a list of firmwares stored on the card is displayed. All right, let's go on to the next one. Indicates firmware, update firmware, click OK. And yes, there is a reset procedure. It looks like it's the back and the core, that button there, is it fast? Yeah, sorry, it's just my eyes are rubbish. So the bottom two big buttons and the turn on and you factory set it. So I would say definitely make a backup if you've already put a load of memories in. So the instructions are here and uh, I'll link the video in made again by, let's see if I can find it. Um, Kilo the Urban. Kilo One Mike Bravo Lima, and uh, yeah, good luck with your FTXs. And there's always new, there's always firmware updates when a radio first comes out. Got a feeling there'll be a couple more before you know that Yesu are happy that it's where it it needs to be. Bye for now, seven three. And don't forget, at the moment, the Yesu FT seven one zero is an absolute bargain. But yeah, you don't get vhf uhf but you do get a lot for your money um a lot in the uk you're talking like 815 pounds um free microphone apparently uh martin lynch and sons and that's that's an awesome radio bye for now